Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Marketing Monday. My name is Chanel E. Martin, and I'm also the founder of Beyond the Book Media and the creator of Marketing Monday. And let me tell you a little bit about Marketing Monday. Marketing Monday is our weekly Facebook live show that we do over inside of our Write With Me group. And as you are coming on in, can you go ahead and say hello? If you're watching a replay, just say hashtag replay. Let me tell you, Marketing Monday is the place where we discuss all things um, marketing, um, all things uh, brands, authors, and how it pertains to your book. I'm also streaming right now on Instagram. Hey, Instagram family, you can click the link in my bio um, and join our private Facebook group to join us over here on Facebook. But as you are coming on in, y'all, can y'all say hello? Let me turn it over to the comments. Um, and we are getting ready to get started in just a minute. Thank you, y'all. I just want to say thank you, y'all. Last week, we had such an amazing an amazing brand author academy y'all it was i mean i bring out the camera lord jeez i'm tired we had an amazing <laughs> map your book out um three day challenge let me know in the comments if you had an opportunity to participate in our map your book out three day challenge let me go ahead you know some of y'all say y'all don't like to add everyone feature in groups but i'm about to tag everyone okay and if you don't like you can get up out of my group <laughs> hey janice over on instagram look i'm tagging folks and then we're gonna get right on in Let's go. All right. So today I'm going to jump right on in. Today we are talking about money mindset. And I want to talk to you through a few different points. And if you have any other questions, I would love to answer them. So for some of you, um, I've been in business long enough. Actually, this is my 10th year as an entrepreneur. I started my first for real business outside of MLM and no, no, that's no shade to MLM. Um, but my first full business, um, which was June 15th of 2012. So I've been in business for, um, 10 years. I've done many different ventures, anything you can think of from, um, I, um, uh, I co-own a hair care technology company. Um, yes, it's called my Ivana. You can look us up. Um, y'all, I invented a Velcro wig y'all at some point. Um, and then also I've also, um, on beyond the book media I own a media network. I, I co-own Kingdom business network. I have a, um, consultant business and everything else. So I've been in business for, um, over 10 years. And let me tell you something. One of the things that I wish I had changed or I had developed but um, early on in business is my money mindset. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about what that means. Money mindset is the way that I think about money and how I approach my business. If I knew what I knew now, um, I would have I would have invested better. I would have invested faster. I would have um, managed my money and stewarded differently um, because what I found what I found out that I was doing was I was holding on to money as a space of I would never get it. So like as soon as I would get some money, I would be so afraid that this was going to be the last thing that I got, especially when it came in my business. Now in my personal finances, I was cool because I was like, you know what? Um, I'm always going to work. I'm always going to make money. But when it came to my business, I was super afraid of what it took to really go to the next level. Another thing that messed me up was I really didn't understand what it meant to really invest, uh, especially if I could do it myself, right? How many of you have thought about that? I was like, okay, I don't really know what it means to invest. If I could do it myself, it doesn't make sense uh, for me to pay someone. It doesn't make sense for me to invest. It doesn't make sense for me to hire people. So what I ended up doing in an effort to save money, I burnt myself out. So I was charging like super low prices uh, when I first started doing business and then I didn't want to hire anybody. So I was overworked, overstressed, uh, stressed out because I didn't understand. I was like, well, if I can do it. And then another thing that I, let's talk about like if, how I felt like if I could do, it, I didn't want to hire anybody because it didn't make sense. Like my mindset, my brain was like, why hire someone to do something that you can do yourself? Okay. So I didn't understand that when I hire people to help me do stuff, then it opens up and gives me freedom in other places where I can either have that time back because time is money or I can either free myself up to make more money. So those were just a few things that I had that I wish 
I could do differently. Now let's talk about when it comes to our books, right? So look, you want to look, I've been there. So let's talk about our books and as authors, sometimes um, I want to know in the comments, how many of you are entrepreneurs or um, authors or both? Like if you're an entrepreneur and author, or you're just an author. I'm just curious to see who we have here. If you're an entrepreneur or you're both, you're an author and an entrepreneur. Um, just so I can gauge, you know, I like to do this um, interactively. Okay, so we have author. All right, so I'm going to start with our authors, right? Okay, so we have both. Uh, all right, so we have authors. We have both. All right, so what I found is that a lot of authors, right? So there are many of you who work a nine to five or you're still working your nine to five and the way you're transitioning out of your nine to five is by way of authoring books. How many of you, that's you, like you're, you're, you're either, you either did that or you're thinking like, okay, if I write this book or when I write this book, I want this book to be, um, to be a, a pivotal, it, to be a bridge for me to get into entrepreneurship, right? So what happens is sometimes we'll write books and we'll forget that number one, and I don't think I'm talking to any of you, but we'll forget that number one, your book is a business. So when you are not having like the right mindset, you'll forget that like your book is an, a, a business and anything that you invest in producing your book is an actual business expense. So I've come in contact with many authors who are still using their personal business accounts, their personal funds. And I understand if you got to use your personal funds up front, but they're not really accounting for their publishing costs. They're not accounting for their marketing costs. They're not accounting for all of the expenses that it comes to producing your book. So. What happens is when you don't set stuff aside, so like all my authors, if you are not an entrepreneur yet or you are using it as a bridge, one of the first things I tell y'all to do is to go get a business bank account. Now, I know this may seem elementary, but I'm just reminding you, that's part of your mindset. When you when you set something aside and you set it and you say, okay, this is what I'm going to do. This is my business. I'm going to be an author. I'm going to be a brand. Go ahead and treat it like a business. So that's the first mistake we make. We don't treat our books we don't treat our books like a business and so what happens we don't make money like a business so we'll go out we'll write a book we're putting we're selling books on amazon or we're selling books via cash app is going into our personal accounts there's no re-up strategy there's no restock strategy uh you're spending all your supply every single thing that comes in you're spending the money right instead of trying to figure out okay how can i reinvest what's the next step so your book is actually a business. So that comes with our mindset, right? So like when your mindset is set up in the beginnings, remember we've been talking about your brand, when your mindset is set up from the beginning, then you will forget that your book is actually a business. Your book is going to produce wealth for you. And sometimes it's really hard to see that. So I'm about to tell y'all a few ways on how your book is a business. And maybe you're like, okay, Chanel, well, um, okay, Chanel, well, how is my book a business or how am I going to make money? Um, with just a book, because your book is like, you know, maybe $20 book, right? Your book is the catalyst. Your book is literally the bridge because what the book does is it organizes all your content, all your information. And it's like the cornerstone for everything that you want to do, especially all my brand, all my um personal brands, all my coaches, consultants. If you have an information business, meaning if you have a business in which you are using your knowledge, you are using your skill set, you are using your gifts, your 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 wisdom, right? Your hands, then definitely you need to have a book. So let me tell you what you need. Let me tell you a few ways in which your book um becomes very profitable for you. I'm about to give y'all 13 ways. And I sent this out in an email. It was called 13 ways to make money from one book. So I'm about to, I'm about to give you a whole bunch of different ways. Y'all can write these down. So you've written one book, you've written one book and now you go get your business bank account. Okay. And even if you are a business, some of you are a business and like your book is going to be a catalyst for something else. I want to touch on that really quickly because, um, I own a consulting company called Panther Claw Consulting. I don't really talk about it as much because I kind of been um, 
it's on the radar, but, but I used to do like marketing, um, business, um, consulting and some business coaching underneath that brand. Okay. Shout out to anybody who is a part of our 3M mentorship, but all of my book sales, they don't come into beyond the book media. My book sales don't go into KBN. My book sales are separate. My personal brand is separate. If anybody books me to speak, um, it's all going under Panther Cloud Consulting. It's my, it's, it's a whole different brand. It's a whole different business. And so now I use that account to fund things related to my book, to fund things related to my information, my consultant. I do not mix it all together. I got three, I got um, three different bank accounts. Okay. I got a bank account for Panther Clock Consultant. I have a bank account for Beyond the, you know, bank accounts um, with a sy system of, of, of accounts in there. And I have another account for KBN. They are all separate. OK, so let me go back to this. So let's talk about how your book is a business, how you write one book, because many of you guys are selling yourself short. You're writing one book. You're like, oh, I'm done with the book, but I want to get all these sales because God going to do it. And you weren't setting yourself up with a, the proper mindset to make the money that you were supposed to make. So that's why um, I, the, the, the last session is still up in the Facebook group where we talked about building your brand funnel. And if you missed that, I'm sorry. You, I don't know. You need to go back and watch it because it was really good. Shout out to everybody who had a chance to um, sit in live. That session was so good. We literally mapped out your whole funnel for your book um, and your brand like for 90 days. We did a 90 day funnel for, um, for you guys. So let me talk about 13 ways to make one book, make money from one book. So you write the book, right? Your book is a cornerstone. Then the next thing you got, you got a course. Okay. That's an, that's, that's a now logical next thing to turn your book into a course, especially for those of you who have nonfiction books. Then, uh, then the next thing you could do is you can do a training. Okay. A, a training could be, you know, some sort of thing that you do corporate. Like if you have a strategy or you have a system in which you have developed, um, or you can create a system from your book and you can train other people. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what it is. Like I see Sean, Hey Sean, she's on here. You know, she, um, teaches kids how to pray. She has a lot of parenting resources. She has a book called Praise for My Children. Y'all should go get that book. And that could be a training. That's a training. Now she has prayer school. That's a training. Okay. Then of course, live events. So you can turn aspects of your book and turn them into experiences. Okay. So now your book has been presented to people in a live way. Like we did that with, um, uh, uh my God bless describe journal. We do, we create a brand underneath that. Well, that's adjacent to that called prophetic planning. And we do a live event called prophetic planning live. Okay. Um, the next thing you can do is we have, um, you can do uh, a keynote speech. You can create a whole keynote speech just from your, you can create a whole keynote speech just from your one book. So, you know, many of you are talking about you want speaking engagements. That's why you became an author because uh, you're trying to get books, right? You got you, 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 are, you see yourself, um, on, on the stage, impacting millions of people, right? So go take your book and go turn it into a keynote. So now when somebody hits you up or when you start shopping yourself and you put together your media kit, you're, they're going to ask you like, what are some of the topics you know you can uh, pre-recreate? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. The challenge pack is no longer for sale. Um, I, I, I can't tell it says Facebook user on here. The challenge pack is no longer for sale. So I'm sorry. The challenge is over. So you cannot get the challenge pack um, anymore. All right, so let me go back. So um, you can turn it into a keynote. So you know you can go ahead and pre-write out your speeches. So go and take some of the important things and, and themes from your book and create a keynote. So now you can start pitching yourself uh, because of the themes and the thing and the themes in the content in your book, right? Because now remember, your book is your book is a business, and now you got all these different products that are spinning out of your business, but you gotta have a mindset to make money, right? I just already I, I've already given you one, two, three, I've given you four things. I still got um nine more. Four ways, four products that are spinning out of that one book. You got a course that's spinning out of that one book, okay? You got a training that's spinning out of that one book. You got a live event that's spinning out of that one book. You got a keynote speech, right? And all these things you can get paid um, thousands of dollars for easily or at a minimum hundreds of dollars for it. So like, all right, so let me keep going. The next thing, of course, this is obvious. You can turn your book into a journal, a planner, a workbook. OK, you can sign your book into a journal, a planner or a workbook. Right. 
Um, then of course, branded merchandise. Now you have branded, branded merchandise. Okay. So if you have something very catchy, so we haven't done this or I haven't pushed this, but my God bless the scribe journal. We have t-shirts that say God bless the scribe. And we did, we did a one-time flash sale. I think I'm going to do a one-time flash sale for those. We did a one-time flash sale and we sold out like, I still had like 30 shirts and I sold out of those shirts in a matter of moments. That's branded merchandise. That's additional money. Okay. So that's, let me keep going, right? That's what happens when you have your mindset for money. And um, those of you who are just now joining us, we're talking about money mindset, but more specifically, I'm talking about authors and brands and how your book is like the cornerstone and how you're able to make so many different streams of revenue just off of one book. You're able to make so much money off of one book. And so where a lot of authors make the mistake is they write the book and they think that that's it. And they're not thinking through the different ways that they can generate consistent revenue from that book. Okay, so let me keep going. So we talk about branded merchandise. So now you have a lead magnet. Oh, this one's so good. So some of you, you can turn your book into a lead magnet. You can give your book away for free. And they have those free books plus shipping where shipping and handling. So like, let's say your book costs $2.50 to, to make from Amazon, right? Then let's say the packaging costs another $2.50 and then the postage is $2.50. So now all in all, your book costs $7.50, right? What you can do is give your book away for free in exchange for their phone, their email address, their mailing address, right? Their content information. And they just have to pay shipping and handling. So you make shipping and handling seven, eight dollars, right? Eight dollars for shipping and handling. And now you've pretty much um paid for the cost of the book. You didn't make a profit yet. That's fine because you're going to have, now you have a high value lead that you can call, that you have the contact or you can send mailers to, you can do different things with for like your other programs. Now, this is a really good strategy for those of you. I don't know if any of you guys have high ticket consultant um, programs or coaching programs or courses. This is a good way to get pre-qualified leads um, because if they have their book, now you have something, some discussion points that you can talk to um, on that. All right. So the next thing, um, so you take that as a lead magnet or you can take like if you have a chapter, depending on how your book is set up, you can take um, maybe a chapter of your book. If it's high value now, 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 let me talk about this high value. OK, so if it's just a chapter and it doesn't provide very much value, that chapter alone, don't don't do a chapter as a lead magnet. But let's say if you have like um, 10 chapters, and each chapter tells you how to do something, then giving away it as a lead magnet might be valuable. Um, one of the lead magnets we do for our, um, we uh, give away or we, we give away our write your book in seven days, the PDF um, um, journal planner workbook to help you write your book in seven days. Like we give that away. That's a lead magnet. Like I created, I invested the money. Okay. I invested it. I published it. I created it with the sole fact to give it away in exchange, give you the PDF version in exchange for your email. And I've already made my money back many times over. Okay. Um, y'all still with me? Let me know in the comments. Are y'all following me? Are y'all getting ideas? Um, the main thing is to let you guys understand that like, you don't just write your book and you're done. Like, I'm trying to break that. Like, if you understand, if you have the mindset to make money, you will make money. If you don't have the mindset to make money, you will not make money. If your book was just something that, I'm sorry, if your book was just something that you just wrote and you write, that's all that's going to happen. You're going to write the book and that's it. If you don't sell your book, if you don't brand your book, if you don't, if you don't create additional streams of revenue from your book, like you're going to have to be proactive. But a lot of that times that has to do with our mindset. I'm going to pause here. I still got some more ways. Like what happens is we're, we're talking, oh God, I ain't got no money. God, this can't be it. God, what's going on? What's going on with my finances? And you sitting with money. You're literally sitting with money. Money is in your mind. Like your mind, your brain is so powerful. Money is sitting up in your book. Do you know how many things you could teach, how many things you can offer? So it's not the fact that you don't have money. You just don't have a mindset to make money. You hadn't been able to look at what you have. That's what I love about the story about the um the widow with the jars of oil. And I know we love to use that um that that 
that that story when it comes talking about you know producing wealth and you down to your last but like many of you are sitting with so many jars of oil and, and your book is the oil it's the oil that'll never run out because you just had to write that book one time and now you can flip that thing and then i think a lot of times we don't do it because we think people are tired of let me tell you something it's like billions upon billions upon billions of people in the world. You ain't talked to all of them. Maybe maybe your 2,000 Facebook friends are tired of hearing about you. But now it's time for you to get up. Go to conferences. Go to events. Go then. Go network. Get yourself in front of other people because there are other people that need what you have. Okay, so I just want to pause there so I can get through my list. So I can get through my list because I'm giving you guys the month, the mindset to make money. Again, you won't make any money in what you're selling if your mindset is not position. Money does not literally fall out the sky. For most of us, now I'm not saying God, you know, can't do it for you. He can't bless you. But for most of us, for most of us, we're going to have to go in understanding that we're going to make money. Okay. I want you to put in the comments, I'm going to make money. Put in the comments, say, I'm going to make money. Your mindset has to be set. Let me tell you something. As a man, think if so is he, right? If not, believing that you are going to make money you will not if your mindset is not already set up for you to make money you will not now let me let me give it okay so then of course the ebook right if you publish a book and you have an ebook you can always sell your ebook i told y'all we take um our write your book in seven days my planner and i turned it to an ebook it's the pdf version it's basically an electronic version of your book and i made so much money off of that <laughs> um I've created, what I love about it is I've created something one time and you can keep making money. How many of y'all got my challenge pack um, inside of the Map Your Book Out? Or you've ever bought a challenge pack, right? That was one thing that I only had to make once. I only had to make once. And I've made thousands upon thousands of dollars. I've sold over a thousand challenge packs. Probably more than I haven't checked, but I need to look at my numbers. I've sold a lot of challenge packs and I only had to create it one time. And then it ended up leading into other offers, Okay. So, um, ebooks are definitely those things that you create one time and now you don't even have to get those printed. I mean, you just, all you have to do is have an electronic way to deliver it. <clears throat> so then of course, an audio book, right? Um, sorry, drinking my coffee. So of course you probably, um, of course, you know, an audio book, you can sell it, but did you know that like, well, let's just keep it there. You can sell your audio book. A lot of people... And, and a lot of people ain't going to read your book. You open up yourself into an entirely different audience when you create an audiobook. How many of you are audiobook, audiobook uh, readers? I am an audiobook. Look, listen, let me tell you something. This is why I'm getting ready to turn all my books into audiobooks. Okay, now that we have, or now that our team is equipped, if you need an audiobook, hit us up. We can do your audiobook, okay? Uh <laughs> I'm about to start all my books in audiobooks. I just haven't had time to. Why? Because I don't even, I don't read y'all's books. I don't read no books. If it ain't got no audio book to it, I ain't fit to read it. I don't have time. I literally don't have time. What I will do is I will get the audio book first. And then if I like the audio book, I will go buy the physical book. It's like, I am audio book. I am audio first. Any of you guys audio first? All right. I am audio first. Audio first, then I'm going to go buy the physical book so that, you know, sometimes I may want to pause, write notes, different things of that nature. So if all you're doing, I'm just telling you straight up, if your whole strategy is just creating a physical book and you do not have an audio book or a, no, I ain't going to tell y'all about that one. I ain't going to tell y'all about that. We got to, we got to do something different. Um, I'm going to tell y'all the next thing that we about to do, but you at least need an audio book because people's attention spans are short. I promise you every single time I try to sit down and actually read a book, somebody needs some, somebody wants some, somebody begs for something. I can't ever do it. But what I can do is when I'm driving, when I'm working out, when I'm in transition, when I'm washing dishes, when I'm helping doing laundry, I can listen. Okay. All right. So you need an audio book. Straight up like that needs to, even if you have published your book, that needs to be the next investment. If you want to learn more about getting an audio book for your book, you can send me a DM and I can talk to you about the process and potentially working with Beyond the Book Media. But you definitely right or fall asleep. Look, hold up. I'm about to put this up. Look or fall asleep. Listen, I shall be falling asleep. Do you hear me? All right. <laughs> so if you need an audio book, hit us up. You definitely especially especially those of you. Who, who sell information-based products. If you have a coaching 
business, if you have a consultant business, right? If you have a mentorship business, if you have something in which you provide a service, you're a service-based business. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, oh, I know what you meant when you said, oh, I'm, I read or fall asleep. All right. So let me go back to my, so we're not done. We're not done. Okay. So then of course a podcast. Yay. So maybe you may not charge for a podcast, but what you do is you keep your readers engaged and they consistently stay, um, in your pipeline, um, consistently so that you can continuously sell stuff and give them other offers. Or you can monetize your podcast. There are many people who have monetized their podcast in which they bring on um, sponsors. So y'all, we just went through, hold on, how many ways? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. We just went through 10 ways, right? So when you have, you guys and authors, you guys have written your books. Uh, like I said, a lot of times we're writing books even if we are entrepreneurs, even if we are business people, we're not realizing that our book can be a whole brand itself and everything that stands from it. So I always recommend, I recommend everybody have their own personal brand and make it separate from your actual business, unless you're a business, unless you are the business. But there are many of us who are service-based businesses. Like I told you, I own a media company. I own um, Beyond the Book Media, which is, I guess, another media company. I, KB, I co own KBN. I, I own Beyond the Book Media. But then I also own Panther Clock Consulting. That is where my personal brand is nestled up in, in my consultant and, and everything that me and my husband, we can't own that together. And so I keep that money separate. And because I keep that money separate, it has its own accounting. It has its own profit and loss. And I treat that like a business. All right, so let's go back to what I was talking about. Um, come on, if you need to talk, I can't see who you are, but send me a DM, okay? Or you can email me. If you want to talk to me, you can email me at Chanel, um, Chanel at beyondthebookmedia.com or send me a DM and we shall chat. Let me keep going through my list, all right? So then we have a conference. Ooh, I'm doing the same thing like with my book, my book that's coming out, The Supernatural Entrepreneur, where we, we themed our conference around my book. So you know that you can theme, you can, let's just, somebody, y'all drop y'all book titles. Let's talk about it. Drop your book titles in the comments and I'll talk through it. So like you can theme your book and turn it into, I don't know a whole conference. I don't know if Amber is on here. Amber was on here, but Amber, you definitely have to have a journal for the Generations Conference. Oh my goodness. Like you definitely have to have a journal for the generations. Amber was one of our publishing clients and um, we just recently did a, uh, we just recently did an interview with her and can y'all imagine how crazy her conference is going to be? Uh, <laughs> okay. So we have some of you guys have put your, your, um, uh, Hey, Instagram, we're over here on Facebook. I decided to stream um, on Instagram too. Let's see, some of you put, okay, so we have some prayers for our children. All right. Hey, Shatriska, the elements of you, the day I met my soul, collect the cash, book title, enough, see your worth in a world of discounts. Come on, come on. Oh, I felt that one. Um, the courage to emerge. Um, you haven't written it yet, but it's called Love Wins. If you haven't written it yet, for those of you who've not written your book yet, you definitely need to get in Brand Author Academy, okay? Because we start on next Monday and you will have your book done in seven days. So no excuses. So you start getting all of these coins. All right. Okay. I'm going to read some of these that are on Instagram. So we have Reinventing Your Mindset, um, Triumphing Over Trauma. All right. Uh. Okay, Amber, you're here. God told you to have an event too. Okay, I literally just saw it. I see your event. Like, you have to have an event, Amber. You have to have an event. Okay, um, Faith, Hope, and, op and Options, a Mid-Career Transitioner's Bible. Yes. Uh, find Myself in You, 30 Days of Meditation um, in Jesus Christ, Free Indeed, Healthcare in the Church, A Queen Speaks. Okay. Um, becoming a blessed one. All right. These are, thank y'all so much. All right. So think about this. Some of y'all's okay. Phyllis, definitely mama Phyllis, your whole thing is a whole conference healthcare in the church conference. Like, is, do they have that already? Phyllis, do they have that? If not, you definitely need to be the one you need to be the one with your background. You need to be the one. That's a whole movement right there. That's a whole movement. I just see um, pastor, I see that being annual. I see pastors um, and leaders flying their, their staff out, their team out to get trained, to get equipped um, just from you doing it. 
So you said no, that's yours. That's yours. That's because you're supposed to do it. So, all right. Um, I'm going to come back to that when we have some other. Uh, let me see if I can find someone. Okay. Faith, hope, and options, a mid-career transitioner's Bible. Like that's a whole training. Think about it. I want you to think about how many times you've read a book and you got, and you wanted more. There was so much more that you wanted from that book. Okay. Um, let me go back to my list and then I'll open up for questions. So we said a conference, definitely a webinar. So webinars are short. Uh, they typically give you a little bit of content and you're upselling to something else. So you can take an aspect of your book, turn to a webinar and then upsell them into like one of your coaching programs. I love webinars. I do free webinars. Um, once a month, we do something free. Um, I love it because it forces me to get this content out of my head. Um, like, like many of us need to. Some of y'all don't know how smart y'all are because y'all haven't sat down to really sit with God and really get God to pour it out. And because, and I'm gonna tell y'all how I know because I am some of y'all. I did not think I had enough information or wisdom. I was like, man, I already wrote the book. How many of y'all feel like I already wrote the book? Is there anything else? Who gonna be honest and admit that? That's how I felt. I was like, well, I already wrote everything. I don't, I don't know if there's anything else I can share. And then I realized that there was more. Like when I tell you, God will give you so much revelation. Um, that He'll just keep. Keep giving it to you. And then, you know what? Most people ain't paying attention and listening anyway. So you can say it. You can teach the same thing over and over and over and keep finding new people that are willing to join what you have. Okay. So again, as I'm, as I, I think we have one more, how many are left? I got, okay. I got one last one. And the last thing I was giving y'all 13 ways to make money from your one book. Right. So I want you to think about your book as. Look, I should have brought my little flip board. Hold on. This your book. Your book is like the center. And then you have so many different streams. And I wish I could draw this. And my handwriting is horrible. But like, this is your book. And now you have so many different ways that you're going to be making money out of it. Like, let me put some dollar signs so that you guys can see. But it's up to you. It's up to you to decide it. And I think sometimes we feel like we're waiting like, this is your book, y'all, okay? This is y'all's book, and it's like all this money is floating around the book. All this money. Is, are you going to reach up and grab it? Are you going to set yourself up so that you can have the opportunities? Um, to Do you have the mindset, okay? Do you have the mindset to say, you know what? Some of you just don't even feel like you're worthy. You're, you, you, were still, you were still stuck on the fact like, okay, I wrote this book, but does anybody even want to hear from me? Who am I talking to? And so now mm, I literally hear God like for some of you, there's so much wealth. I told y'all that the thing from that book was like right for wealth. Okay. There's so much wealth trapped up in the knowledge that he's given you. And you've been trying to do everything else, but the things he's told you to do. He's like, look, I put something on the inside of you that I really want to go global, to go national. But you're going to have to step out of your comfort zone. So I see where there's somebody that's, I, I, it's like a, it's, oh, Jesus. It's, oh, I'm sorry. Because I'm just, I'm seeing, it's like when Jesus cursed the fig tree. When Jesus cursed the fig tree. That is, I'm going to pray. Ooh, ooh, okay. I'm trying to get my words out. It's like when Jesus cursed the fig tree. Remember the fig tree had leaves, but didn't have any fruit. And so Jesus cursed the fig tree. So some of you are like the fig tree that Jesus cursed. You are producing something. You're just not producing the right kind of fruit. So you're trying to figure out why things are not working the way they're supposed to work because you're not doing what God told you to do in totality. And so you keep joining programs and courses and YouTubing and God is like, okay, it's enough and it's time for you to get to action. OK, and so it's like you're trying to figure out why have streams dried up. And the guy's like, guys, like, man, I'm trying to push you over here. There's some destiny things that God wants wants you to do over here. OK, let me go back here. I'm going to re reread my list for those of you. Right. Because we we're talking about the mindset for money, the money mindset um, on Marketing Monday. Hey, guys, for, on Instagram, I do this every Monday on Facebook. I decided to stream to Instagram. 
uh, today. I might do this every Monday, but you can join us. The party is over and write with me on our Facebook group. But it's God will literally allow he will like allow things to dry up until you get in a position and you start producing the right thing. Okay, I'm going to reread this. So when you have the mindset for money, when you realize, okay, hold up. I'm not just writing this book. I'm not just an author just to be obedient. That's why I want to get out of some of y'all's vocabulary. I'm just being obedient. No, obedience is one piece, but being obedient means you need to go ask God, like, what's the full thing I need to be doing? Is just writing this book just to say I have a published book enough? What else am I supposed to be doing with it? What money am I leaving on the table? When you don't have the mindset for money, you're not able to see your money. You're trying to figure out, okay, God, I'm just having just enough. I'm not seeing the wealth and the prosperity. I'm not seeing the fruit of, of, of my labor. That's because your mind, you didn't have the money mindset. And you didn't understand that, that this book that you wrote, I'm trying to get a book so I can, don't I got a book over here somewhere? Let's pick up a book. That this book, <laughs> this is a book in my drawer, that this book that you wrote, wrote remember how I showed you the streams coming out? That the book that you wrote, that this your money, that, 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 that what you're praying, the increase that you're praying for, right? The prosperity that you're praying for, the new house that you're praying for, the increased customers that you're praying for is, is for you to have the mindset that if God sat with you intimately, supporting to you wisdom, um, words of revelation in your book to reveal to you mysteries and secrets, right? If he allowed you to persevere and overcome, why would he want you to not produce wealth from it? Because he gives us the ability to produce wealth. Why would he not want you to do that with your book? So you're wondering why you aren't seeing any fruit, but you aren't doing fruitful things. So what we'll do is when we feel uncomfortable, we won't invest, okay? Oh yeah, let me go back to my list and then I'm, I'm gonna wrap this conversation up. And if y'all have any questions, um, y'all can drop them in the comments. Let me, let me wrap up this, right? When we have, when we have a money mindset, okay, then we understand that we can find our money anywhere. Okay. Then once we figure out how to make money, then we got to go and get it, you know, systemized, make it scalable, make it repeatable, right? Those are the things that we need to do. Some of y'all want to put systems and processes behind something that ain't made no money. That's a whole nother conversation for a whole nother day. But let me let's go back into it. So you can turn your one book into when you when you have your mindset for money, you can turn one book. You can turn one book into a course, a training, a live events, a keynote speech, a journal, a planner, a workbook, branded merchandise, a lead magnet, an ebook, an audiobook, a podcast, a conference, a webinar, a coaching program. And that's just a few opportunities. The possibilities are endless. Okay. I've been able to do it multiple times over. Every single book I've written has brought me some sort of wealth, some sort of prosperity, some sort of opportunities. It wasn't just about writing a book. It was about the, the, the knowledge and the wisdom that the book represented. Okay. Okay. So do I have any questions? Y'all can drop them. I got a few minutes to answer any questions. Um, while you guys are putting your questions in the comments, listen, we have a few things going on today. We have Authors Roundtable. So if you're interested in joining Brand Author Academy um, and you're not necessarily sure uh, what all it includes or you want to hear testimonials because you're trying to feel like you're trying to be like, this, there's no way this could be true. Like, I don't believe her. It's okay. Just join the Authors Roundtable. We have interviews with authors that we're doing um, tonight at 8 p.m. We'll be doing the inside of Write With Me. And then tomorrow, y'all, tomorrow at 12.30, we're doing prophetic vision casting for your book. Okay. So I don't know. I usually do it. I don't know how many of you have done it before, but I love it. It's a chance for us to sit with Holy Spirit and for him to help us cast vision on our book and help us tell us like what, what, how much money we're going to make from our book, how we go beyond the book. You know, we're going to have podcasts, we're going to have merchandise, and we have like a whole vision plan um, that we can utilize. So we're doing it tomorrow at 1230. Um, if you're on our email list, you'll get an email. You don't have to register or anything. Uh, if you are on Instagram, you're like, I want to come just send me a DM. I see you in the link. Um, 
So look, okay, I do have some questions. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Also, Brand Author Academy is open. Okay, registration is open. So Brand Author Academy is our our seven day brand writing, um, book writing accelerator program in which we help you finish your book in seven days. Why we help you finish your book in seven days? Because I just told y'all 13 ways in which you can make money and we got work to do, okay? We're not sitting up here writing no book for no two years, three years, five years. We ain't doing that. We ain't got time for that because we got conferences, we got podcasts, we got audio books, we got lead magnets, we got courses, we got workbooks, we got journals, we, we, got, we, got, we got programs, we got trainings, we got keynote speeches. Like we got work to do. Many of y'all been sitting on that information far too long and it's taking you way too long. So with coaching and accountability, we help you finish in the seven days. It's proven. I wrote my last book in seven days. Um, so you can go to Brand Author Academy. Uh, it's an investment of $9.97. So just $1,000 um, less than your 16 inch flat screen TV, right? Uh, uh, let's see. I don't know. Less than the vacation you took, right? And once you finish it, I just gave you 13 different ways. I just showed you different money streams of income. So it's like you almost got to, um, uh, you, you, you got to finish the book. Okay. So someone asked the question. They said, can you please tell us more about the audiobook process? Um, so basically the audiobook process is if when you work with us, um, we do a consultation with you, we help you. Um, and then, uh, we will connect you with a way for you to record your book. So if you are local, you can come to Beyond Book Media Studios and record your audio, or we will uh, connect you with a local studio in which you record, or you can record at your home if you have the proper hardware. Okay, then our team will professionally master the sound and then we publish it um, to all of the popular uh, audiobook platforms and um, uh, it is linked there to your book on Amazon. So that's pretty much it. It's a very simple process. The main thing is um, making sure that everything is um, uploaded properly and that it's a good audio book and it's not so little You know how some people y'all be, you know, yeah, I'm not gonna go there. All right, cool. Uh, any other questions y'all have? Any other questions? But that was a great question. Let's see, this was a great comment. I need to get with you, sweetheart. Your team is epic. Holy Spirit, thank you for these wonderful people um, that you have taught and equipped us. Amen. Listen, come on. Just send me a DM or email me at Chanel at beyondthebookofmedia.com if you want to give me any other questions. Let's see. Let me go back up to some of y'all's books titles so I can talk about. Um, all right. So we got Collect the Cash, right? I'm going to go back up here for a second, see if y'all have any more questions. So um, one of these, uh, somebody on this live on Facebook says their book title is Collect the Cash. Like that's already a training. Folks, who want to know how to collect cash? I know I do. Listen, so that's a whole training. That's a whole course. Um, that could be a whole keynote. That's a whole audio book. I mean, a whole podcast. Like what if you have different speakers that are really good at making money and you interview them, um, you, you interview, interview someone every week. And they're giving different tips because y'all, y'all do know there's more than one way to make money. I just showed y'all many different ways. So people will always be enlightened. So that would be really good. Let's see. Um, I'm trying to find. Wait, I think I got a question. This was good. You got a question answer and you forgot you had. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like y'all are good then. Um, you said I said a mouthful and you hear me. Who okay, so let me ask y'all this. Who's ready? Who ready to um who ready for that? Y'all, I got horrible hand rain. But like, who ready, who ready for this to be their life, right? And go ahead, you know, this could be look, I'm trying to let's show Instagram at the same time, right? This your book. This your book. Okay. And it's all the different ways you can make money. It's literally endless. Okay. Each one of these is a stream. It's a stream, but your book is at the center of it. So like I said, what we're not going to do is what we've been doing. What we've been doing is we write a book or we start writing a book and then we start getting nervous. We're trying to figure out how we're going to make money from this. Right. That's why it's, it's super important for some, if something, if you knew something was easily going to make you a minimum of $10,000 a year if you did it right. A minimum. A minimum of five. Like, just a minimum of 10000 No, let's do 12000 A minimum of 12000 If you knew that something was going to bring you a minimum of 12000 just a minimum, would you not invest the money? If you knew that it was at a, at a 
if you had to put it at a certain level, would you not invest the money to make sure that the thing could continue to produce? That's why it's important um, for you to really be considerate of, of what you're trying to do. We talked about in Map Your Book Out, start with the end in mind. And I just gave y'all a whole bunch of end, whole bunch of solutions. So now when it comes to, okay, how am I going to invest? Am I going to join Brand Author Academy? Or maybe some of you are like, okay, am I going to invest in working with Beyond the Book Media or working with another company instead of DIYing it? Because sometimes when y'all DIY, y'all really don't know what y'all doing. And it looks DIY, straight up. I don't care what they told you. It looks like you didn't put any effort. It looks like you threw it together. It looks like you rushed. It looks like it. But now you're like DIYing and hashing stuff together and you're trying to charge premium. You're trying to figure out why am I not getting $10,000, $20,000 premium high-end clients? Well, you, you never sold in. You, you didn't put that into your brand. You didn't sell premium into your brand, right? So I just want to encourage you guys to have the mindset to make money. So when you have a mindset to make money, you literally see money everywhere. It's you, you can, and, and, oh yes. Hello, somebody. I don't know how many of y'all follow me on Instagram, but I gave the prophetic word for August. Um, I actually recorded that in July, <laughs> but the Lord gave it to us. I recorded it in July and we just released it over the weekend. And God said that in August, we were going to accelerate and you were going to go as fast as you wanted to go. You were going to run as fast as you wanted to run. So many of you are, are, are not seeing the result you want because you're not taking hold of everything that God has for you. You're not running. You're not taking the opportunities. You're not implementing. You're not doing the things that God told you to do. You're complacent. It, and so you got to move out of that space. And so when you realize like every time, every day I'm not making money, I'm losing money. That's a quote. Put that in the comments. Every day I'm not making money, I'm losing money. I'm going to drink my coffee while y'all catch up with that. Every day I'm not making money, I'm losing money. But you can make money when you have the mindset for it. When you're able to see wealth and you're able to do wealth generating activities and you're able to produce the wealth generating, you're you're able to make wealth generating investments. And a lot of our mindsets, it's okay because you know. I worked, I worked in corporate too. We have, you, you know, we have this corporate America mindset where technically our paychecks, our money is automatic on the 15th and the 30th. You know, you're going to get paid every other Friday. You know, you're going to get paid. And that's cool. As long as you want to stay, um, you know, working for somebody or you, you plan to keep that. That's totally fine. I, I look, I have people that work for me. I'm grateful. Like everybody's not meant to be a full-time entrepreneur. That's fine. But what you're going to have to do, if you want to start, making money and having more control over the wealth that you make, then you have to think about like, my money is not guaranteed unless I'm out here doing what I need to do or getting in alignment or setting myself up. So what happens is we think that we're supposed to, money is just supposed to just fall out the sky every 15th and 30th, like our, like our nine to five. And so I'm not telling you quit your nine to five because many of us need to stay in that thing until we figure this thing until we master it out. But it starts with developing that mindset right now. It starts with the, it starts with, um, you understanding that when you're not, you're not making just because when you're not make every day, you're not making money, <laughs> you're losing money. Cause you'll get out there in entrepreneurship and be like, Ooh, I, I, I wrote one book. I just need to make these sales because you're conditioned. Thank you. Thank you, Taisha. Every day I'm not making money. I'm losing money. All right, y'all. Well, that's Marketing Monday, y'all. Um, I do this every single Monday at 12 o'clock p.m. inside of Right With Me, our private Facebook group. Also streams on YouTube. And shout out to my Instagram crew who was hanging out with me. Come on over to... Um, Come on over to Instagram with us. I mean, come on over to Facebook with us next time. Tag a friend. Tell them to come into the group. I'll see you guys later. Bye.